Hey sneaker friends, how's it going today? I have a real quick one for you today. I couldn't help but tell you guys about this shoe. So I've heard about the brand Allbirds for months now. And if you haven't heard of them yet, uh, new brand that's out and they basically use all natural materials. So they have a wool line, they have a tree huggers line, and now they have a new flip flop slash sandal line made out of sugar cane. So pretty interesting materials these guys are using. I got a pair of the wool runners and I'm gonna tell you all about it. So I bought a pair of the wool runners. They were $95, I bought them on Allbirds website. It took about four days to get to my house, so not too bad of a shipping time. I actually ordered them in the evening and they actually said they shipped that night, so I got the shipping email that night, so that's pretty cool. I'm normally a women's seven and a half, but the Allbirds shoes only come in whole sizes, so I had to pick between seven and eight. And it says directly on the website, if you fall in between a size, pick the size up. So I picked a women's eight, and it was definitely the right choice. I believe they actually fit a little bit tight. Uh, I was surprised, because in bare feet they feel great, but in socks they definitely feel a, just a slight bit of tightness. So I'm looking forward to see how they wear over time and see if I actually pick the right size. If we start with the outsole, you're gonna notice right away, it's incredibly simple. They're actually, the outsole is part of the midsole. So they're using a ground contact foam. The outsole is the midsole, there's no difference. There's a split line right here or a parting line, but it's all the same material. The outsole does have a bit of a texture on it, which I'm guessing it gives you a little bit of grip, but not a ton. So overall, this midsole outsole is about a 50 hardness, which uh, feels soft underfoot, feels firm but soft. I've seen a lot of articles that have said all birds, the most comfortable shoe in the world, right? Or something alluding to that. And I just, I couldn't believe it, right? For, for one, $95, two, it's a new show company. And so as soon as I got them, I tried them on and I did not have socks on and they are seriously so comfortable. Like, I'm not kidding you, so comfortable. Now, when you put your foot in them, you do feel the underfoot foam, you know, it, it still feels firm, but it's soft. So you don't feel like a squishiness or a bounce, like you feel in boost or even react. That's not what this shoe is about. But once you slip your foot in, the feel of this wool is so soft and so comfy. And it's just like wrapping your foot in a blanket. It's just lovely. But I will note, the sock liner in the shoe also has wool on the top cloth and it definitely feels just a little bit slippery. Uh, I think the whole inside of the shoe feels a little slippery, but these are not intended necessarily for high performance. I don't even think I would run in it. I would just wear these as walk around shoes. Now, speaking of sock liners, it's about six millimeters thick and it has about four millimeters of foam and two millimeters of wool. Now it does say on the bottom, better shoes in a better way on the one sock liner and the other sock liner says made with castor bean oil. So to me, this is an open cell foam. It looks a lot, uh, it's kind of like poron meets memory foam. It's a really interesting kind of foam very soft it's about a 21 hardness so when you're stepping in this is what you're feeling right away i am concerned that when this packs out that the shoe will feel a little bit harder uh but we'll have to we'll have to just wait and see now i did weigh these shoes out of curiosity and the right was 202 grams and the left was 201 for a total of 403 grams not much different between the two they don't feel heavy they do actually feel pretty lightweight they are very very simple the upper is literally this piece of wool it has collar lining with a slight bit of collar foam in it uh, but there's no lining up in the front it's just the back of the wool material you'll notice that the toe kind of has a sharp toe right there's not much shape to it uh, so you definitely kind of see your toes when you're in the shoe but the dark color kind of hides that the lace is a circle, um, it's very thick. I do double knot these if I'm gonna be wearing them for very long. The eyelets are reinforced with embroidery. The tongue is pretty simple, it's not gusseted, but it does have a lace uh, loop in it so that it stays in place. Overall, the upper is incredibly simple. There's only a heel seam in it, uh, and so they get decent shaping for only having a heel seam. You do see a little bit of this uh, ga gap or buckling uh, over here which is kind of typical when there's only one seam and it's in the heel of the shoe. If they had a seam over here this would be nice and shaped uh, a bit better. 
Okay, well, that pretty much covers it for Allbirth Wool Runner. I'm super excited to wear these a bunch because they do feel so comfortable. I do have some friends that have had um, some durability issues with these and some interesting comments from the Allbirth customer service. So I'm gonna wear them for a while, see what I think, see how the durability is, and then I'll give you guys an update. All right, have an awesome day. See ya.